Hey guys, sorry about that. I got cut off right at the end there. Um, but anyway, to finish off where I uh, left off there, um, my guide had told me that they had been um, summoning some pretty nasty spirits by accident and that I needed to get out for, for the sake of my son. And it was quite entertaining because when I came back in, um, my ex's grandmother was asking me, like, well, why did you have to leave? You know, are you okay? Blah, blah, blah. Is the baby okay? And I said, and I just bluntly said, I said, I had a vision that told me to leave. And I don't mess with stuff like that. And she said, what do you mean? I'm like, well, and I explained what, what, I didn't say it was the goddess, but I explained what the goddess looked like and everything and how it rushed at me and said, you need to leave. And she was like, oh, it's an angel, blah, 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 your child is blessed. And and then the preacher found out, then they're all, you know, surrounding me. People were wanting to touch my stomach, and it was like, oh, my God. You know. Um, <laughs> so that's the end of that. that that's the second story. Um, and, yeah, it was quite ironic because a couple of months later, um, she found one of my, um, I had bought a copy of, Living Wicca to read through, and she found it in our bed, my bedroom, and then decided to kick us out because she found that, and she changed her story from it being an angel and it being a blessing to it being the devil in disguise, and that I was really a Satanist, um, and that you know the devil wanted me out because he wanted to keep mine and the baby's soul. So, yeah. <laughs> anyway, so I hope that that this at least an interesting story. Um, okay, let's let's go on the next question here. Um, the last question, sorry, not even the next. The last question. Um, is by the Willow's Way, and she writes, "This may be a weird question, but are you going to do any type of theme for my wedding?" Um, and she says here that she wanted to do a medieval or Victorian type theme, but ending ended up with just going a plain old fast theme. Um, and I have seen, Willow's Way, I have seen your videos on your wedding, and it looks, looks like you had a beautiful wedding. It doesn't matter if it was just a you wedding. It was absolutely beautiful. And as long as you're happy at the end of the day, that's what matters. Um, but the kind of theme that we're doing is, um, sort of a goth steampunk. If you want to, if you want to label us down to a theme, it's a goth steampunk theme. Um, both my fiance and I are very gothy. We love the steampunk thing, and um, like you know, corsets and bustle skirts and all that stuff. So um, that's what we're kind of going for, for. I will be making a lot of the things that are um, going into the wedding. But hold on here, I'll show you guys this because it's it's sort of available. But, for example, um, instead of the girls getting, um, for my bridesmaids, instead of them getting flowers, each one is getting something like this, which there'll be a tassel attached here. But this is a, it's crochet, beaded crochet, and it's a Victorian style pouch purse. So, I'm going to look. I don't know how well you can see. But yeah. And then there's the top. So, um, I'm making four of these. I've got two of them done. There's one, and this is the other one. Um, and each one has 300 glass pony beads on them, so they're quite heavy. Um, yeah, I don't have to worry about any of the girls getting mugged or anything. Um, so there's those. I'm also making my wedding dress and the four girls' dresses. Um, which will be like a bustle si style skirt and a chemise, and then each girl is getting a cor is buying a corset, um, or is using a, a one that they already have. Um, so yeah, that's sort of our theme so far. Um, if you guys have any info with regards to that stuff, I'd love to hear. Um, I did watch out under the computer. Ah! Oh. It's okay. Yeah, um, I did get a couple of wedding books. 
which were kind of interesting. Um, I got this one. Hand fasting, sorry, hand fasting and wedding rituals um, by Raven Caledra and Tenon. I'm not even going to try to butcher that name. There you go. Can you read that? Okay. I really like this one. Um, there's a whole section here on in involving your children in it, and there's a whole bunch of different levels. I would like, I really want a hand fasting, or at least have a hand fasting as part of it. Um, the only part of the hand fasting that my fiance isn't totally game on is the idea of the jumping of the broom. He thinks it's pokey, but, you know, whatever. Um, he's probably going to do the actual tying um, as part of it. And I definitely want to have my son involved. Um, but yeah, that's, that's actually a really good book. The other one that I got um, book-wise is this one here. There you go. Fortune-telling book for brides. Um, and it's by Chronicle Books. This is really, really freaking cute. Um, it goes over stuff like, for example, where did you get engaged and what it means. Um, the wedding date, like what time of the like what day? For example, for my wedding date, which is May nineteenth, um, it says you will have many children and even more grandchildren, and your retirement years will be comfortable and secure. So very cute. And it covers colors and like wedding dress and decor and all these things. So that's my other big witchy book. Um, there is one other um, week, uh, and wedding book that I was looking at, but I haven't seen very many reviews on it, so I'm not sure whether or not I want to actually buy it. Eh, I don't know. So, yeah. Um, if you guys would like, I can, I can definitely do more um, information with regards to the wedding and what we're doing. Um, uh, what I do know is that our, I'm getting at least my ring made um, by a friend of mine. Um, I originally wanted to do it tattooed, but my fiance isn't game on getting a tattoo on himself because he's a bit of a wuss. He's one of those guys that's like, oh, it's going to hurt. I don't want to do that. It's going to be forever. It's like, that's the point. <laughs> but, you know. Whatever. Whatever. Still love him. Um, so yeah, I'm trying to think what else. We've got the haul booked and, and all that. So. But yeah, witchy, steampunk, goth, sort of theme. You know, we don't want to give hard text to any of the older relatives. Um, yeah. So I hope you guys enjoyed my videos answering the questions. And if you guys would like to, um, to see any more, please let me know. Thank you. And have a good day. Blessings.